Um, this happened in September of last year. We live on a huge horse farm in southern Kentucky. My mother, the horse fanatic in the family, travels all over the country taking out horses to shows and competitions. During that time, I usually get stuck at home with the responsibility of feeding the animals and other non-show horses. My parents were at a weekend-long show, it was around 5.30pm, and I was on my way down to the barn to give the horses their evening meal. Our horses are arranged into multiple sections, pregnant mares in one, show horses in another, etc. Here's a screen cap from Google Earth of it to kind of give you guys an idea. I was almost done feeding and only had the southwest corner section to go. When I looked into the field that lined that section, and I saw nothing that I really can't explain with words. It was far enough away that I couldn't make out facial features, but I could tell it wasn't human. It was standing upright on two legs that seemed to be on backwards. Instead of the knees going forward, they went the opposite way. The closest thing I can describe it to would be like a very thin, hairless horse standing up. I didn't notice any arms, but... With how far away it is, I'm assuming they could have just been so close to the body that I didn't see them. I kinda doodled this to give you guys an idea of what it looked like. It scared the hell out of me, but I don't think it saw me. It looked like it was watching my house, which was about 100 yards to the northwest of there. I kinda just stood there. I didn't really know what to do, so I just kind of slowly started backing up until I was back in the barn. There's a small part in the barn where there are a couple of missing boards that you can easily see out of, so I stood there watching it for a while. I didn't want to try to go back home because I was worried it would see me, so I just waited. I waited for what felt like forever before this thing kind of turned around and walked away into the woods. The way it walked was the scariest thing about it. It was so... unnatural. I waited a little bit, and then ran back to the house as quickly as I could. The next morning, my parents got home, so I didn't have to feed the horses again after that. I've never told anyone about this either, but after discovering what skinwalkers are, I'm wondering what you guys think. If not a skinwalker, what else could it be? I've never seen it again after that, nor has anyone in my family ever mentioned seeing anything like it. 